Yo, it's Fun Play Boys. Welcome to today's video. I got a little special something for Dusty, as you guys can see. I did post a little, uh, not a clip, but a picture of what I bought on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. The Instagram is underscore got the soda. That's where I post most of my updates on Dusty and just daily things that I find amusing that you guys probably find amusing too. So if you guys want to go check it out, go do that. So probably a couple of you guys are watching this video and like, what is this? What What's the purpose of this? And uh, why do you have it? So this is a flex fuel kit. This allows me to run E85, 93. And uh, that's basically it. Cause that's really all that I'm going to be running is 93 and 885. So this kit, it's basically for people who wants to go E, put, but people who don't want to go full E, if you get what I'm saying. Not full E, but like people who don't want to be on E 24-7 like I don't. Because this is, this is my daily, and uh, it's nice to be able to uh, throw some 93 on the car without worrying about blowing up and knocks and all that stuff. And it's nice to also throw some E85 on the car and just to have the car run cooler, smoother, and uh, getting, getting a little horsepower from doing it as well too. So if you guys are looking to get this kit, I say go do it. You can do it cheaper, but I don't like wiring stuff. I don't like doing all that mess. So I just bought the regular uh, Siri Mode kit. You could get the Innovative kit, which is like half the price of this. And uh, I would recommend it, but for me, I'm not good at wiring. So this kit is made for me. So I really like this kit a lot because it comes with actually everything you need. It comes with a harness for the flex fuel sensor. It comes with the hoses, the flex fuel hoses. Even comes with an install guide. It comes with if I can open this with one hand, the gauge, innovative gauge, comes with a pod so you can mount it up in your car. Your car, but but since I'm not going to be using that, um, probably give it away or I'll probably just keep it for safe keeps. Comes with all your sensors, comes with something for your laptop. Uh, I don't really know what that's for, but I know it's for your laptop. I know it's for your gauge though, so yeah. And here's the most important part the sensor itself comes with some zip ties and a mounting bracket and uh yeah man a couple stickers which is pretty dope but okay let's get into the install so what i'm gonna do now we're gonna swap to that gopro just to make it easier for me to record and damn dusty looks so damn aggressive bro sheesh but yeah like i was saying i'm switch to the gopro so i can be uh I have both my hands free and I can give you guys like a very good detailed uh, video on how to install Siri Moto flex fuel kit for your knife gen. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do first to remove the battery. Uh, reason why I'm moving the, ah, the reason why I'm moving the battery is because I do need to get to the second uh, coolant temperature gauge, well sensor, which is down there, which I think is like right here. Oh, I just hit the GoPro. It's like right in between. And I can't reach that with the battery in the way. And I don't feel like jacking up my car. Let me see the GoPros actually. So yeah, I don't wanna uh, jack up the car. So let's just remove that real quick. All that is, is a 10. Just to have nothing in the way. So now this is gonna be a, a, a plug that you have to unplug, which is located right here. Hopefully you guys can see that well. Like exactly where my hand's pointing is a plug. You don't wanna uh, unscrew it, you just wanna unplug it. And boom, it's out. It goes that plug. Now this is gonna connect into your uh I think it connects into your ethanol sensor. So just leave that alone, leave your battery out, and now onto the next step. So what you gotta do now, I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully you guys can. This right here, that covers your, uh, I guess your fuel, fuel line, yeah, I guess. You wanna take off that 10 mil bolt that's on the top of it. Once you get that removed, it's gonna be this little clip, same one that was on your fuel rail. If you don't have a aftermarket fuel rail, and uh, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna just oh my gosh, it's hard to do stuff with one hand, bro. But yeah, you pry up like that, you take off this clip, and you just keep that for safe keeps. So here's a little tip before you actually disconnect your fuel rails. Well, fuel rails, disconnect your fuel line. Uh, open your gas cap just to unpressurize the system, and uh. We should be good to go after that. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Once you 
once you got both your holes uh, <clears throat> once you have both your connects disconnected what you're gonna do now keep that under there is uh just make sure you disconnect it from the from the uh clips that are in that they're holding them in place these are kind of hard sometimes to do i've done it before but sometimes it's hard to do it again all right guys so here goes the fuel line oh gosh i'm dropping gas everywhere but yeah that's the fuel line uh probably don't need that no more i don't know yet so i'm not gonna say you guys can pick it up if you guys need it because you guys probably don't even need it because it comes with your car what the hell am i talking about all right back to the install video so this kit right here is really really simple you guys this guide right here shout out to siri model for making a guide on their kit finally a company that does that i know big name companies like acuity and stuff they do stuff like that but you the goat so yeah now we're on page uh eight damn page eight already yeah page eight and now we're gonna install the flex fuel sensor i'm trying to figure out how it goes okay so it goes like that and i got a seal what is this why is this thing already coming off i should take a picture of this huh all right so what you guys are gonna do the mount goes on like this literally just like that and what you're gonna do now you're gonna grab your zip tie that comes with the kit you're just gonna zip tie it on uh because it's gonna be like this i want to make sure the zip tie yeah that's perfect boom um cut this off real quick So now we're gonna go inside the car just to uh, mount up the, the gauge and stuff. And damn, bro, this, this kit is really freaking easy. Oh my gosh, this is really easy. Um, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take off your fuel cover for your engine bay. Bro, you guys ever just hear noises and like just stop and stare at the noise, like where the noise came from and think like a ghost is gonna pop up? I mean, it's just me and I'm black as hell again. God damn. Bro, I'm really about to get to your pickle chain now, boy. But yeah, like I was saying, you're gonna take off your fuel cover, your fuel cover. You're gonna take off your uh, your fuse cover for your engine bay, and you're gonna take out this little pry tool right there, as you guys can see, just like that. I bet you guys didn't even know you had a pry tool inside there for your uh, for your your uh, your fuses. And I lost it. Oh my gosh, it fell inside the damn wheel well. Five minutes later. All right, guys. So we're under the dash now. Hopefully, you guys can see. What we're gonna do, we're gonna be putting a fuse into B4. Um, I'm gonna like put an arrow exactly where it's supposed to be going. It's really hard to do this under the car. I should be wearing a GoPro, but the GoPro will not get this angle either because it is on my head. So yeah, sorry guys. And boom, you guys, that's plugged up. Hopefully you guys can see that, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. But yeah, that's plugged in now. So what I'm gonna do is this ground right here. I'm gonna mount that ground to this screw, to this screw up top. Let's see if I can make you guys see that. Yeah, I'm gonna circle it. But yeah, that screw right there, I'm gonna put this ground on it and uh, this should be good to go. But then I have to wire everything through the, through the firewall. Well, I think I have to go through the fender. So yeah, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna figure that out. All right, you guys, day number two. Yesterday uh, got really dark, and even though I have my flashlight and my headband light and all the lights that I could freaking bring to the car, I still couldn't see what the hell I was doing. So, yeah, this is what the car looks like right now. A complete junk mess. Um, I think I left off with showing you guys where you should be uh, installing your fuse. And it goes into the B4. So, exactly right next to those two tens. So I'll put the arrow again so you guys can see that. And now what I'm gonna have to do is uh, route these wires going through. Uh, guys, can you guys see that? So you see how your you see how your uh, hood prop line goes all the way to the back of the car. Below that that uh, I guess you could say circle. Below that uh, circle, I guess you could say, 
that's the circle but where the line goes through for your hood prop not hood prop your hood latch is going to be a door jam grommet that you could pop out and that's where you're going to wire wire your right wire your wires through um i'm gonna put like a little picture here so you guys can get a better picture of it but yeah that's where you're going to be wiring your wires you should use something to like hook it out because it's going to be hard for your hands to fit in your fender because there's really not that much space there but yeah somehow some way this is how you're supposed to do it so let's figure it out all right guys so i'm hoping this video is not all over the place because it is hot and i'm trying to get this thing done because i got other stuff to do today but uh i'm gonna try to get this uh video detailed as i could possibly be take my longest time doing this because there's not a lot of guides on the knife gen one actually there was one video i don't know what happened to that guy i guess he's the lead of the channel so now that video is gone and he had a good like uh like a detail video so i guess i'm gonna be the new one but uh what i did so far was wire the wires through that little hole as i spoke about if you guys can see it come on focus on it oh brother it's so hard to get it but yeah there's a little hole that uh i pushed out well you wasn't really supposed to push it out you're supposed to take it out and cut a slit through it so it stuck a block that uh acts this way but i just pushed it out and now i'll probably have some dust flying in the car but it should have been too bad but um yeah i pushed that out i wired the wires going through that hole so basically what you're gonna do you're gonna use a shoelace tie the shoelace around the wire get like a coat hanger like a like a wire coat hanger and uh try to fish it out with the coat hanger and that should really help you it literally took me like 30 minutes to do both wires so it is a kind of pain in the butt just to fish out some wires but it's not that bad uh this is how i routed it if it could focus on it all right so this is how i wired mine so mine's going this way around this uh wire holder i guess and it's coming up to right there going underneath this little crawl part whatever you call this into the fender and then going into the fender from down there into the little grommet hole then the part that connects into the uh what was that again the coolant the coolant sensor is right there i routed that going this way up going right here and then i'm gonna put that this put back this little piece and you won't even see it no more and boom don't even see it it's clean uh, what I'm going to do though, I am going to get some zip ties just to zip tie it down right here so they don't move. And uh, yeah, it should be straight. I'm going to zip tie this to somewhere too. Probably zip tie this into, into this harness right here. And it should be good to go. Like that. Zip tie it to the harness. And it should be straight. But yeah, man. We're basically done now. Um, just have to put everything back. Uh, I'm not gonna mount up my my uh, ethanol gauge because I am waiting for another gauge pod. I don't like the one that sits right here. Originally, the gauge pod was supposed to sit inside this little cup holder. I said cup holder, this little cubby. I don't know what the hell Honda had this for because you can't put change in here. If you put change in here, it it flies out when you do a pull or when you're just you know regularly driving and hit a bump, it flies out. So I don't know what the hell Honda was thinking about this, but. You can put a gauge pod here, you're supposed to cut out this little back piece, and then you wire the wires through, and the gauge pod sits right here. And then the gauge, which I don't know where it's at right now, I think this is it. Yep, got my little COVID mask on it, okay. The gauge sits right here, like that. But I don't like that because I feel like it's too low. I want it right here, which is gonna be so fire when it comes. Just waiting on that now. That's gonna be another future install. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna uh, show you guys how to wire the gauge. If you guys have this kit, if you guys don't have this kit, then it's a totally different process and you should go find a different video because this video is definitely not gonna help you. But uh, yeah, it's very simple, so let's do it. All right, so simple. What you're gonna do, you can get your uh, your gauge. Damn, this is a really nice looking gauge. And it came with a different uh, face. So if I wanted to have a white face and a silver collar, I could actually put that, but I like this black. This black look hard because this black look fuego. But yeah, what you're gonna do now, get what you're wired. Um, gray go to gray, of course. What the hell? My hand just broke. And then, uh, black goes to black. 
and then boom that's really it these are for your laptop when you're trying to like do some stuff with the gauge and stuff my laptop doesn't even have that uh port that you're supposed to use for it so i, I can't even use it but this is not necessary on this install you can just leave these in the back of wherever you want and uh i don't know where i'm gonna put mine for right now i guess i'll put it bro i have so many wires right here oh my gosh look at that it's so damn many wires how the hell am i gonna drive but it's time to put back the battery and uh I started up but prime the car to see if any leaks anything's happening and uh to see if the gauge is getting power so it's all or nothing and i'm yo florida back on that bs again bro y'all y'all remember how i used to sweat like 24 7 when i did a video it's happening again Alright guys, so Dusty's pretty much put back in. I just gotta tie that back up. Um, I did prime the car already and uh, everything did turn on, but I'm gonna do it again on camera so you guys can see. I was just making sure I didn't have no issues before I actually, you know, start working on the car. Not working on the car, but like checking that everything's fine. But yeah, let's check again. So the gauge is gonna the gauge is gonna turn on. Boom. That's what it should be reading. Every octane does have a little bit of corn in it, I guess you could say. So right now I have 10.4. So I'm reading E10. So yeah, that's basically regular gas. Basically a regular 93. I'm rambling on right now because I'm just so damn tired. But yeah, bro, everything's working up perfectly fine. It's good. It's crazy. Um, now I just gotta wait for that gauge pod and now I gotta put everything back but uh let's go look to see if anything's leaking again it shouldn't be everything should be fine it's fine that looks fine I don't smell no gas <laughs> nope nothing So before I end up this video, I forgot to put the flex fuel badge on. So let's put that badge on. I was thinking about putting it on top of the SI badge, so like right here, like right there. Because like everywhere else just looks ugly. Like I was thinking about putting it right here at first, but then it just doesn't look right to me. Ugh, I don't know, it looks weird. Yep, that's that's where it's gonna be. That looks way better. I like that. Wow, it's fire. Sheesh. That looks good. Wow. Alright guys, so this is where I'm gonna end off the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned how to you know install your Siri model flex fuel kit. It's really simple. And uh, hopefully this video is very detailed. I know the video is kind of all over the place because it is a different day. And I probably didn't explain some certain things well or didn't show things enough. But hopefully you guys get the grasp of it and can do it on your own. Because it's very, very simple. It's very, very easy. It's just getting the wires through that little hole, that little grommet that's underneath your uh, your uh, your dash. That's, that's the part that's just hard. After that, everything else is really, really simple. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And your boy's out. Peace.